Sup, y'all? You's ready for vlog numero two? Do it! Haha, -ha, just goofing. But seriously, time to get serious. Vlog number two. in this week we got some potassium sulfate some mild potassium phosphate potassium nitrate and some plantex cm tsm plus b now these are the fertilizers i use i get this from nilo cg aquatics he's been around for a long time i know him from way back planting tank days like 10 12 years ago but anyway, uh, the reason why I got more potassium is because I don't dose for a lot of growth. And most of my tanks are hard water, so it already has a lot of irons and other minerals like calcium and whatnot in it. And these are your, your trace minerals, your micros, and then these are more your macros. But fertilization, that's a whole nother video that can, that can go on for a lot longer, so... I'll do that eventually here one of these days soon. Then I also got some Carib C, some Eco Complete. Got 10 boxes of them. That one was leaking, so I stuck it in that tray real quick. And also got some Styros in. And that's what it's like to get a order of Styros. And there's really not that many in there. It's just they take up so much space. Alright, so a little update on the pond here and took some pieces off but it actually quit working on me it hasn't been working for a couple of weeks the pump works fine but the seal down here is broke Hello. got my little helper out here with me today he's gonna be supervising make sure everything goes all right but let me go ahead and lift this top up here and as you can see there's still some fish in here they're all doing all right and a lot of people have been talking about this red valve lately which red valve is actually regular corkscrew valve it's just been pumped with a lot of iron so that's the truth about red valve and i see many sellers selling it now but anyways getting back to this the seal on the bottom has actually gone bad so I'm going to have to take all that silicone off and reseal it. And the reason, hey mister, don't throw rocks in there. What are you doing? You know not to do that. Hey! Shut it down on you. Boys will be boys, huh? Alright. But yeah, I've got to uh, take that silicone off. And the reason why I know is because... The water level is behind, below that tube. Hey, quit! Mister, you go inside. How's that for a red valve? So called red valve. Almost doesn't even look real. It's definitely the seal that's gone bad here at the bottom. As soon as I can't really get a good shot of it, but as soon as I put my hand down here, I can feel it's all flapped up. So what's happening is the water's leaking up underneath this from where I cut it, and therefore draining all the water out and lowering it to where the pump doesn't work. So I'm just gonna have to pull all this out. And usually I can just peel it off see there get my finger underneath it a little bit I should probably have roughed up the edges of this plastic or the surface of it that way it would bond better and now I just got to pull this out may need to get a razor blade in there remove all this and reseal it again luckily I always keep some silicone around just from having so many tanks you never know when you're going to need it especially for something like this let me see it's coming, coming off pretty clean there you don't even need a razor blade just kind of go slow where it gets stuck 
work yourself around it. Boom. Seals off. It's actually pretty clean. And yeah, time to do it again. This is actually not the first time I've done it. I've heard you can use bungs, stick those in there and everything, but that would mean, I don't know if I could fit one in there the way I cut it. And I'd have to undo all that and all that jazz. And these are glued in now, so I don't really want to go that route. So I'll just keep resealing it whenever it needs it. Not the end of the world. I'll drop the water level down. Could probably just use a little bit of a water change. I'll drop it down to this other tier here. And yeah, bambity bam. All right, water level has been dropped. Now I got a dry surface here. Well, somewhat dry. That way, if any of the silicone does get in the water, it won't really be in the water. Take some paper towel and dry that up. As far as sealant, this is what I use. I use the Equion Silicone Aquarium Sealant. And this is what it's made for aquariums, all that jazz. So I know it's safe and it's not very expensive. And I always keep a couple of these tubes around the house. But I'll just throw some around that and it should be good. Run my finger around it. Now I did rough up around the edges with some sandpaper. It's got some decent grit to it. Uh, of course, not sure. I think 80. May have another number in front of it, can't remember. But this should give it a better bond this time, hopefully. And I did scratch around the pipe too. Did leave a lot of debris being sandpaper. I don't really think this will hurt anything in there. There's a little bit of silicone too. But just for safe measure, all it takes is wetting the paper towel and kind of wiping it up and keeping all that dust and debris in one central area. Now you're not going to get it all, but at least you can get the bulk of it. And then take another one and dry off the rest of the excess. Yeah, should be safe. Alright, now that I got a lot of the silicone around it and it's still wet, I like to get my finger in it. Kind of rub it all around, slowly around it. It creates a better seal this way. Kind of flatten out the end parts here. all sealed back up I scratched it up a little more than I probably should have got a little overzealous I guess but now let's see read the directions again I can't remember I think 24 to 48 hours read the directions again I can't remember I think 24 to 24 hours let's find it here uh, 24 hours can be trimmed Fully bonds within 24 hours to ensure 48 hours. So let's give it at least 48 hours and should be ready to fill it up. I'll probably go ahead and add the water level to about right here just to help the fish out and give them some room. Now if I had more time I'd get into these and actually do some fishing. I'd probably do some fishing in here too and take them in the garage and see what I got. The kitty loves to sleep on there, a nice warm spot for her. 